What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Daisy. Now, I've been, I've been live streaming this quite a bit, and if I, you guys are wondering what my Twitch is, it's twitch.tv slash pause and pause. And I've noticed a lot of people have been asking me questions on, like, how to play this, and, you know, I haven't really seen that many tutorials on this video, or on this, on this game, per se. But I've seen a lot of, like, install videos and all that, you know, so I'm not going to be doing that. But I'm going to be showing you guys the basics of this game. Um, this is actually currently a new feature that just came out today. And as you guys can see, uh, if you guys actually choose male or female, you are not allowed to change it. It's only once per CD key. So be sure to choose properly. I mean, if you're going to play female and you're male, whatever, I ain't going to judge. So, of course, you know, I'm going to choose my male. And uh, this game... Now, it, it it sounds boring on paper, it sounds boring, probably looks boring when you're watching it, but it's actually really, really amazing. Now, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain this as soon as I get in the game, because I don't want you guys to be staring at a black game, or a black screen here. So, give me one second, guys. Oh, <laughs> quite literally, as soon as I, uh, I start up, you guys are... Whoa, so everything... Oh... Okay, so I don't. Wow, this is this is really awkward. I was gonna talk about uh, some new stuff here uh, because <laughs> one of the things was there's actually some uh, food gauges. Oh, there they are. They are just loading in very slow. So first of all, when you start in, you guys saw the t the little text come up here, and that actually says respawn. I I was actually walking around and. Um, I, I just forgot where I, it was, but there are online maps that you are able to take a look at, and I'll, I'll leave a description, or uh, once, one, uh... It's Twitch's problem. It's my data network and the fact that we're tethering. This is our problem. That was awkward, <laughs> but, uh, the live stream I was just in just went live there. That was, uh, Tom. Um, I'll leave a, a link in the description down below as to the map that I currently use. Now, there's a couple things here that uh, you should look out for. Right here, this is considered your humanity. As you guys can see, my eyes are a bit slanting and a bit down like that. That means currently I'm a bandit, and that's because I've actually went around and I've killed a couple people who, uh, you know, didn't shoot at me. Now, there's one thing that I believe is if someone shoots at you, they hit you, and you shoot back and you kill them, you don't become a bandit. You're just, you're just protecting yourself. Uh, right here, this is actually your temperature gauge. Obviously, on the debug monitor, you'll see that as well. This is your water source, so if it's red like that, that means I'm really thirsty. I don't know what... Oh, that's my blood. I was going to say, I forget what that is, but I don't forget. So, if you get shot and you're losing blood, you'll see uh, a little little cross, and that means you're actually currently losing blood and you need to bandage yourself up. Uh, this is also your food right here. So if you're hungry, again, that'll be red, and you don't want to really be red. Now, there's a couple servers on here. This one is uh, just a normal server and not considered a hardcore. Hardcore servers actually don't allow you to go into third person like this, so I typically try and avoid those type of servers, mainly because, well, I don't, I personally don't like being in a uh, first person mode here just because I don't know it, it's a bit weird the movement in the armor like the armor 2 engine is a bit wonky to kind of play with so I, I personally like third person mode I know it's 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 not as immersive but honestly the game itself is is immersive as it is um, so honestly the the biggest threat in this game is not finding food or not 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 dying from hunger from thirst from blood loss from zombies uh, the thing you actually got to keep your eye out for in this game that makes it so interesting to me is not, like I said, not the zombies, not the food, not the resource gathering, not the looting, nothing else, but there are actual other players. Like you guys can see on the left here, these are actually people talking. Now, some people, they'll actually be nice. They'll they'll be like, are you friendly? And you're, they'll, they'll just out, type out friendly. And obviously if you guys, uh, I don't I don't currently have one, but let's pretend that's a guy right there. And if that was a guy right there, if I actually put my cursor over him, and again, this all depends if it's hardcore, veteran, or normal. Um, sometimes it'll actually say their name. So if you if you see their name come up on the left hand side in blue, and they ask if you're friendly, and if it, the name corresponds with who you're looking at, you can either say yes, or you can say or you don't have to say anything. And but if you don't say anything, you actually risk the, the the chance of getting killed because a lot of people play like I do. If I, I ask people if they're friendly, if they don't respond and they continue walking at me, that's when I will shoot. Um, as you okay, 
before I continue on, again, as you guys can see at the top right, there is zombies killed, headshots, murders, bandits killed, blood, zombies, temperature, and my name. That's the debug monitor. Uh, obviously, you know, the, the first couple things are pretty straightforward. You know, you got the zombies killed. If you killed them, killing them with a headshot, it'll say that. Uh, murders, again, that's if you see another player. And uh, if they shoot at you, and you, or if you just kill them without them shooting at you first, I, it's, uh, it's considered a murder. And if this is going to be taken out in the future. I don't know if it's taken out now. I, I, freak, I don't know. Yeah, I actually didn't read the, the new patch notes because I'm an idiot. <laughs> so... Um, typically from what I saw last time, if you kill someone with a, and you become a bandit, your skin will actually change. You'll actually be wearing like a little scarf, you'll have uh, glasses on, your, basically your skin will change. You'll be able to tell like, this skin that I'm currently using right now is called a survivor skin. And uh, if you kill someone, that's going to totally change, it'll be different. Um, again, I don't know if uh, 42 degrees Celsius, it's Celsius, I don't know if that's uh, going to be changing. Or not because last time, yesterday when I was playing this, it was uh, it was out of a hundred, like hundred percent. Obviously, if you go, if you dip down to like one, you you will be able to die from uh, hypothermia, and there, you actually have to go out into houses uh, to scavenge for for firewood. Or now I actually read in the patch notes. I didn't read like okay, I I read the patch notes, but I didn't. I just read some of the new stuff. Uh, to jump over fences, I didn't know this. I I didn't know that pressing V was considered the the hot button. I thought it was honestly a jump. So if you come up to a fence or you're like running away from zombies, one of the best things to do when you're running away from a zombie is to actually try and find fences like this and run over them because they they, they can't hop fences, so they have to find their way around. Uh, so explaining some of the features uh, for for the people who don't map their keyboard differently or just play on defaults um, to actually stand up straight you just press c if you want to crawl around in town like not crawl but um if you want to crouch around in town like so you press x um if you want to go slow like if you want to do this you actually have to hold shift or you can double tap shift and it'll toggle that now my way of actually crawling around in town to avoid zombies at best is to press z and z will put you in the prone position and uh to go along with the the movements, if you guys actually take a look at the right hand side of the screen, where there's a where's an where there's an ear and an eye, as you guys can see right now, there's nothing indicated right there, just the ear and the eye. That means that I'm pretty much invisible. But you also don't really want to get too close to zombies because, obviously, if I go up to his foot and like lick it, he'll obviously be able to tell it's me. So I'm gonna stand up, or not stand up, but I'm gonna actually go into the crouching position. And you guys will see a little bit of a difference when I walk. As you guys can see, when you're walking like that, you got the one parentheses basically on the eyes and the ear. And basically when you're like this and you're walking around, as you guys can see, I'm going to try to track some zombies. As you guys can see, they both go up. But I'm kind of hidden in the, in the bushes here. So I'm actually not going to kill any zombies. I thought I was just going to attract some. Um, there's a lot of people... I, actually, not a lot of people. There's. I wish all the houses were you were able to get into them. Unfortunately, you're not. Now, to actually be able to tell which houses you're able to get into, the best way to look is to look at the windows. Now, as you guys can see, it, it is kind of tinted and glazed. And if you guys see tinted and glazed windows like that, that generally means that you're not able to get into the houses. So, like, these ones right here, um, those ones right there, there's also, you know, the house over, over there. However, as you guys can see, the window is actually broken in here, and you're actually able to see the interior. That means you're you're able to actually get in the house there. So we're going to avoid the zombie here. So you're just going to crouch. And the cool thing is, if you really need to get away really fast, obviously you can just do this, or you can uh, press Q and E to just roll away. I personally like the rolling away. It's called a bacon roll on my live stream. I don't know why, it just is. So obviously, you're able to try to or you're able to avoid the zombies while you're mostly prone again it's not foolproof and one of the great things about this game i think is all the small details like look at the grass i'm pretty sure you guys notice that when you're crawling the grass actually falls over i love small details like that in this game so obviously you don't have to open up the door a lot of them are open um however if you actually use your scroll wheel okay apparently not not here not cool okay so 
As you guys can, I, I, I guess you can't close the door. Here we go. You can close this one? No, not closable? That's awesome. Some of the doors are closable, not all of them apparently. That's lame. Anyways, so if you come into a house, you'll find some stuff like this. Uh, you, you can see there's, these are considered, these are flares. Uh, obviously you have coke, some food here, some empty cans, and you also have a, some guns here. So we're going to take, uh, you know what? Okay, here we go. Here's a perfect example. So this is a Winchester right here. So basically to actually access that little, that little, um, on the left hand side, I'm just blanking out on words. If you're, if you're to access that, uh, the little mini screen, you just use your scroll wheel, just like what I do. I just kind of push it up or push it down and you, you're able to right click on that and you will actually pick that up. Now, when you're running along, you have obviously the gun. If you want to switch out to your primary, you just again use your scroll wheel, right click or left click and bring that out. Now you don't want to use the, like any of these big guns. You want to try and use your primary guns in like inside the city because these guns are extremely loud and will attract all the zombies in a certain radius. I don't know what ex that exact radius is, so we'll just pretend it's really big because I don't want to attract any zombies. Now, if you're coming up to a big thing like this uh, and you use your scroll wheel, you'll see the option gear here. Now, to actually, this is this is a different menu because there's actually more than one item there. It'll open up a menu like this, and you, as you guys can see, the 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 numbers on the right hand side of the item are what is actually in your inventory. So, as you guys can see, I have the one water bottle, I have the one Makarov, I have the one backpack, blah 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 blah. Now the items on the left are the items on the ground that you want to take. So if you want to take the soda can, you just click on the soda can and you hit the right arrow there. And as you guys can see, it actually put the item in there. Now there's a couple things also. This is considered, this is a backpack. So if you want to double click that, it'll actually open up eight more slots. So you're able to carry a bit more than what was shown back there. And basically that's, again, that's, as you guys are probably aware, that just means more inventory. Now I'm going to show you guys how to use your backpack for certain things like eating because a lot of people got confused with the new update on how to like bandage yourself or eat. So to open up your backpack you're able to press G and that'll open up your inventory here and to actually eat now because back then uh, before you're able to or before this update came in where you have to manually eat you're able to use your scroll wheel and on the left hand side it would say eat beans and uh, drink from water bottle or whatever but now they actually change that if you want to drink you right click and you just left click the drink soda and he'll sit down I don't know why he drinks from the floor but he does and as you guys can tell he there's a, a there's a lot of cool sounds like listen to him eat and the same and as you guys can see uh, my water bottle is now green that is that means I'm fully like not thirsty anymore and obviously when I'm when I eat this will go green meaning I'm full so you just again you right click and left click on the eat food and there you go, it's chewing on the food. <laughs> I love it. So, that's like... Oh, here we go. I'll explain more items to you, I guess. Um, because here's some firewood. Okay. Uh, to this right here, if you guys see this, and when you hover over it, it'll say what it is. This, you can you can either open the Alice pack or you can take the Alice pack. Now that I... Because I didn't actually put anything in my backpack, you can actually switch this out for the backpack right there. You'll take yours off and you'll replace it with the Alice bag. Now, the Alice bag is something that you really want in the game because it, it, it gives you a lot more inventory. Like, um, like the last one, it only gave you eight. This actually doubles it. So, just to make it a little bit easier for your eyes to tell what I'm... Or, you know, for you guys to see what I mean. You just double click and you, as you guys can see, it gives you a lot more inventory space. Like I said, it doubles it. So if you, you one of the main things you wanna do is try and find one of those because you're gonna be coming across a lot of items that you really need. Like so, like here, you can again, to open up the menu, here is uh, actually wood. And we're gonna put that in here because we don't really wanna carry that on our main inventory. So again, you just click that arrow and the wood actually takes up two spaces. As you guys can see, uh, one of the spaces is gone. Uh, you're actually able to put other guns as well, but it takes up a big chunk of uh, area there, leaving you no spaces for you know regular items. So again, I, I highly suggest that one of the first things you try and do is not only find yourself a primary gun, but try and take a look for a backpack because the backpack is what will really be your main survival kit in here because uh, you really need to carry a lot of food and a lot of items. and 
Also, there are things in uh, big cities. I'm not going to be going to one because I'll, I'll probably get killed. But in big cities, there's places like hospitals. And if you actually go in the hospital, uh, there's things like blood bags. Oh, oh see ya. Okay, here we go. So I'll, I guess I'll show you <laughs> some of the, uh, the, the fighting technique. Um, what I like to do is, obviously, because I'm in the city here, I don't... Okay, yeah, I thought he wasn't going to follow me. Because I'm in the city, I don't want to fight in the city, because the last thing you want to do is attract more zombies. So we're going to run away here. We're going to try and run to the, the woods here, because it's the best way to avoid bringing in more zombies. I'm not going to use my Winchester, because, again, it's extremely loud, and there's only, like, one, one or two zombies here. So, you know, it's your typical type of shooter. You just left-click, or right-click. Try to aim for the head, because, you know, they're a bit buggy. I don't typically fight this bad, but I'm not. I'm talking really a lot here. So you know, try to aim for the head here. Um, I actually wanted to get hurt here because, uh, as you guys can see, um, there is a little blood animation. As there you go, it, it kind of just spurts out. Can I walk? Yeah, there it is. It's <laughs> you're just dra you're dropping blood like a bomb. Oh, here is another one. So these guys are a bit wonky to take out every once in a while. So again. Basically, the ba the bandage in your backpack, to me, the best way to explain it is it looks like a condom wrapper, and it really does. So you just right-click, bandage yourself, and as you can see, that little blinking cross there will actually go away as soon as you bend yourself up after the little animation. There you go. Now, this actually goes, this kind of ties into the hospital. Um, as you guys can probably see, if you take a look up at the debug monitor over here, uh, my blood before I was actually... I actually got attacked here was at 1200 now obviously if that drops to zero that means you're dead so you want to avoid getting killed by zombies and that's why I wanted to run out of town is because if you attract a lot of zombies you're not gonna be able to bandage yourself because obviously it's pretty damn hard to bandage yourself when you got like billions and jillions of zombies on you eating you and biting you so that's why I like to run, run out of town I mean yeah you will you will you know lose some blood but it's better than losing a lot of blood now as you guys can see while losing blood uh you actually lose some discolor there's a uh, the the game itself gets a little bit discolored a bit more grayish and that means again that that's part of the blood loss animation so to go to the hospital it's in the big city there's things like blood packs there's epi pens uh now there's penicillin because uh, this ties in with the temperature. If uh, your temperature drops really low, you'll start coughing. That means you you got an infection. So to avoid that infection, oh, are we gonna? Fuck. Okay. So zombies actually don't run in um, in houses. So if you're also if you're getting chased, be sure to run into a house because uh, one of their animations is they don't run into houses. They just they walk. So it, it makes things a little bit easier. There we go. Yeah. See. As soon as you shoot in the city, you attract a lot more. Uh, there's things like this, like uh, there's tires, there's p car engines, blah, blah, blah. You're able to actually build a car. I've never built one, so I don't know what to explain on that. So this is, like like I said, this is a very basic uh, type of tutorial because a lot of people were really wondering how you do certain stuff, and I didn't want to explain it many times. So, And the reason why I'm doing this tutorial video is obviously I told you guys before that I'm going to be doing a little series with Beef and Badge, so I don't really want to answer the questions like that, so I figured I'll put this out beforehand. Um, so going back to the cold and that, uh, so there's places in hospitals, they actually have bulletproof glasses. So what you have to do is you, have to, you can't shoot with the Makarov or anything like that, so you actually have to use the Winchester to actually shoot the glass down because that's the only not winchester but any primary or sec yeah primary guns will actually open it up so don't use your pistol on it all you're going to do is attract a lot of zombies and you're not going to be able to get in now i highly suggest yeah, you try and stay away from um the big cities because the hospitals are actually guarded quite frequently by by snipers in the city so if you try and get in and they hear gunshots they'll instantly point their scope at the uh at, at the, the the hospital and they'll probably take you out really fast so, I'm going to show you why I don't want to use any primary guns in the in, in uh, cities or towns. Like, that doesn't sound like it's loud. Unless it got nerfed. But if, if, if you're in, like, a major situation and you, don't, and you can't take the headshot or anything, no matter where you shoot the zombies with the Winchester, or the Lee Enfield, or the Sniper, 
it it's a one shot kill basically. So let's see if I actually attract any zombies. It's, it seems like they actually. Oh no, here they come. Oh, it seems like I got nerfed or buffed or whatever because it was it was extremely loud. You can go take a look at my old streams if you if you don't believe me. Um, another big pointer for um, for a lot of noobs who uh, want to join the game. I know this tutorial. This is like my first tutorial, so I'm not like. I'm not super amazing at it, and I do apologize if I'm like missing any points here. But um, like I said about the zombies uh, walking indoors, they they actually they, they don't walk indoors. So if you're obviously in the city and you you want to get away, uh, you want to run into a door or a house or anything. But uh, this is actually perfect because if you're if you're fairly new to this game, and as you can see, there's a zombie on me. Um, what you actually want to do. And this, this, this is more if, uh, you know, there's more than one here. Uh, if you find a dock like this, you actually want to run on it because their animation doesn't allow them to run on docks. It's kind of a safe zone for you. So if you bring him onto here, yeah, see, like, he, he won't come on. So, again, this is if you have a lot of zombies and you can't take them out. They, 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 they don't come on the docks and it just leaves a headshot. They're done. So, wow, the server's actually getting dark. Um, for those people who want to know, uh, the servers are actually relative to time zones, so I think this is a central standard time zone right now because it's actually starting to get dark in my city, in Winnipeg here, and the servers are actually really dark during the night. Unfortunately, I can't find a, I don't really, I don't have the time to go into big buildings to show you guys more, but I will say there's a couple things. Um, the firewood, uh, you have to find matches for that. Obviously, I can't show you that, but, uh... If your temperature drops below, the quickest way to wire yourself up is to, if you hopefully, if you have firewood, is to, uh, hopefully you have matches, you're able to warm, or start up a fireplace and sit by that. Um, what else should I say? Um, now, actually one thing they have in this game that I, I haven't found yet is they actually have uh, hatchets, which you're, you're, which you're able to, I, I assume, cut down trees and use that for firewood, so... You know, if you're out in the woods and you and, you're, you, and you don't want to survive in the city, I'm, I'm assuming that's what that's for. So, I, I haven't found that. There are, there's other things like maps in-game, there's compasses, there's GPS, there's a lot of things. Uh, the best the best way to, like, pretty much learn the game, there's a huge learning curve, is to play it. And not only that, but there's a, there's a huge forum and a huge um, a community for this. So, I'll put a link in the description for the forum over there. It's basically daisymod.com, and you're able to go to the mod, the, the forums from there. Um, I will say this though: expect to die quite a quite a bit because uh, the average lifespan is actually 27 minutes. So, you know, be prepared to die quite a bit. Uh, oh, one more one more thing: uh, if you see zombie or if you're getting chased by zombies and you don't know how many there are, instead of turning around like this, um, if you actually hold Alt while running. You're able to take a look behind you, like like that, while I'll continue running forward. And also, if you want to toggle it, just double tap Alt, so you just basically don't have to even hold it. But I just like to hold Alt because it's a bit easier than toggling it. So I believe I've covered like the basics of everything here. You know, the base, the best thing you can do is uh, team. I, I'd highly suggest try to team up with someone if you can. It's going to be hard because you both spawn in different places, so it makes everything a bit difficult. But I'd highly suggest this game, guys. It's honestly one of the best games I've ever played. Uh, the mod itself is free. Uh, you're able to get Arma 2 and Arma Operation Arrowhead for $29.99 on Steam, which is called uh, Arma 2 Combined Operations, which you need both for. Uh, if you want, if you're you know scrimping and saving, you're able to go to Arma2.com and you're actually able to download the demo, and then you're able to actually buy Operation Arrowhead itself for 19, $19.99 on Steam. But I'd highly suggest that you just buy both because it's uh, it, it's hassle-free and everything make it makes your life a lot easier here. So I really hope you guys try this game out. I hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoy it. And if you guys have any questions or anything, definitely leave something a uh, question below, and I'll try to get at answering it but uh I'm, I'm fairly busy right now so if i if i do respond it might be a bit late so don't don't hold the gun to my head but uh 
yeah, you guys definitely have to go check this out. Definitely go survive and let me know what you guys think of this game. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And again, I do apologize if it was kind of all over the place. I don't typically do tutorials on my, on my channel, but I've gotten a lot of people ask me questions. So before it gets dark, too dark for me to see, I'm going to let you guys go. But I hope, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, peace out, Girl Scout. By the way, if it's dark, you can use a flare. If you press F, it'll say at the top right, flare. Be able to do that. Press F again, bring out your macro. But anyways, guys, peace out, Girl Scouts.